major criteria and minor criteria. That means some things are more advanced. Some of you are just guys starting to do this, and then this is not important. But once you're a black belt and you want to know these little nuances to make your, if you have an autoimmune disease, to make your diet even better, you want that omega-6, omega-3 ratio to be favorable. So you want to take enough omega-3 nuts and seeds in relation to the omega-6 nuts and seeds you're taking. And that means you want to eat hemp seeds and flax seeds and chia seeds and walnuts. Because walnuts, being the king of nut, they're the king of nut because they have the highest amount of omega-3 compared to omega-6. And I like to balance out my nuts. So I want to have like half my nut intake be from flax, chia, hemp, and walnuts. So they're omega-3, and I have my, and if I'm working out a lot, I'm gonna eat some sunflower, hemp seeds, and Mediterranean pine nuts for extra protein. And some of my world-class athletes, my nutritarian athletes who are performing fantastic, are taking in those extra high-protein nuts and seeds. So I'm trying to keep both those in mind, right? For my athletic activity, muscle strength, more weightlifting, more sports, I want to take in more high-protein nuts and seeds, and for general health, longevity, I want to make sure I get my high omega-3 nuts and seeds in as well. What's interesting is that um, Nate Jordan from St. Louis is a policeman who lost 80 pounds on a nutritarian diet. And now he started powerlifting on a vegan nutritarian diet. And he's like lifting 500 pounds, bench pressing 350, and he's competing now in, 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 like, in regional and national competitions and going to be, be a top United States powerlifter in his 30s, in, in the middle 30s, because a nutritarian diet has given him to make so much strength. Likewise, some of the best triathletes in the world now are following nutritarian diets. Actually, a guy named Connor Sachs is 18 years old. He's the number one triathlete in the world in his age group. You know, he's the number one, in the, he's gonna be in the next Olympics representing the United States. And he's been a nutritarian, guess how long? Since birth. Can you imagine? Imagine people are nutritarian since birth now? It's like so cool, right? Yeah. Very cool, yeah.